Hello and welcome back to another episode of Video Game Details, the series where we take a look at some of the coolest examples of attention to detail in video games, with a few things you may not have noticed also thrown in for good measure. In today's video, we struggle to hold on to a gun in Borderlands 3, we commit daylight robbery in Gears 5, and we help a man in need in Black Mesa. If you enjoy these videos and want to see more like it, then be sure to leave a like. Oh, and if you think you know the video game detail I haven't featured before, then the best place to let me know is on Instagram. Twitter or Discord. The links to all three are in the description. Anyway, without further delay, let's get started. So first up, let's take a look at a game that is close to my heart. Halo 3 was the first game I really had the chance to play online. Growing up, my mum didn't have a lot of money, so we didn't have the internet at my house. When I was old enough to earn my own money, I paid for the internet to be installed at my mum's house, and that's when I discovered Halo 3's online multiplayer. I was hooked, and even to this day, I occasionally hop on and enjoy a few games of Slayer. Even though I've lost count of the number of hours I spent on Halo 3 and its various multiplayer maps, I didn't know about this next detail until a friend randomly dropped it in conversation. On the multiplayer map high ground, if you shoot a rocket or toss a grenade into the water, this will happen. So the explosion causes these little fish to wash up on the shore. In all my years of playing Halo 3, I never knew about this, and it might just be one of my favourite game details of all time. The next Halo detail can be found in Halo 3 ODST. Now I'm a sucker for continuity in video games, but it's something that we don't really see a lot of as most cutscenes in games aren't rendered in the game's engine. Meaning if someone shoots in a cutscene, that when you take control of the character, their gun is still fully loaded. Well in ODST, cutscenes are rendered using the game's engine, meaning if a shot is fired in a cutscene, it's reflected in gameplay. Now I know I've probably explained that really badly, but the best way to showcase it is here in this cutscene at the beginning of Mission 7 NMPD HQ. Hit the deck! We're losing her! Watch out! Ah! Mickey Dutch! Status! So in the cutscene, Romeo fired three shots from his sniper rifle, and when you take control of Romeo, he only has one bullet left in the magazine. It may not be mind-blowing, but I think it's a really nice touch. So this next detail has been mentioned in the comments section of my last seven videos, and that's no exaggeration. Thomas Regner, this is for you. During Act 1 of Gears 5, you can come across a bookstore housing a collectible for you to discover. If you grab the book and try to leave the store, this will happen. I can't explain exactly why I love details like this so much. It's moments like this that made me start this series, and I'd be very surprised if you guys knew about this one. In a game all about shooting things until they turn into a pile of body parts and blood, it's very rare that you can show restraint in a Gears of War game. This next detail demonstrates that even though the small, nimble enemy known as the Juvie may look feral and only want to rip your throat out, they still respect the power of the Lancer and its built-in chainsaw. So when revving the chainsaw, the GV stayed back and reluctantly tried to close the distance while avoiding the spinning blades of death. With the chainsaw tucked away, the juvies attack without hesitation. It's cool that even the most basic enemies in Gears 5 know not to mess with a man wielding a gun with a chainsaw attached. This next detail was suggested by I Am Strider, a viewer who mentioned it in the comments section of one of my Borderlands 3 videos. When you tip Moxie at her bar on Sanctuary 3, she will occasionally send weapons to your inbox. One of these weapons is called the Exacting Crit, and it has a red text that reads Slippery When Wet. Well, it turns out that slippery when wet can put you in a tight spot if you aren't careful. So when reloading the gun, there's a chance that you will drop it on the floor. When testing this gun out, I foolishly stood by the ledge and reloaded it, tossing it off the edge in the process. 
Time to head back to Moxie's and spend my life savings to get one again, I guess. This next game is one of the most underrated games of this generation. Prey 2017 was a radical departure from the first Prey, which released on the Xbox 360 and PC back in 2006. But if you're a fan of interesting locations to explore, powers to experiment with, and a gun that you can use to literally build stairs, then Prey 2017 just may be the game for you. Anyway, Prey allows you to dabble in tons of supernatural abilities to help you survive the horrors of space. One of these powers is called the Phantom Shift, which allows you to teleport from a sticky situation and leave a body double behind to distract enemies. Well, if you decide to scan the body double left behind, you'll see that Morgan Yu has a very high opinion of themselves. Research complete. So Morgan Strength is listed as being devilishly handsome, but is also resistant to good advice, something that I can definitely relate to. Uh, the good advice part, not the devilishly handsome part, I'll let you guys be the judge of that, social media links in the description. So this next clip isn't a detail per se, but something that I stumbled across while recording the Phantom Shift clip. In the hardware labs you can find this guy. So it's a snowman made out of the glue gun. If you check the post-it note, you'll discover that his name is Mr. Gluey McGlueface, which is probably a reference to the time the government let the British public name a new polar research boat, and the winner was Boaty McBoatface. I don't think they're going to let us vote to name something again anytime soon. So the Metal Gear games are full of tiny details that will raise a smile, and Metal Gear Solid 2 is no different. If you look up when seagulls are flying overhead, this will happen. Yep, you get pooped on. Also, if you run over seagull poo, you'll slip over. If we ever do get a Metal Gear Solid 6, and chances are that we probably won't, then don't be surprised to see a seagull turn up as a boss. This next clip from Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order makes sense on paper, but I'm surprised it was actually implemented. When walking through dark areas, you can hold your lightsaber up to provide some extra light. So far, so standard. Well, if you have a double-ended lightsaber, don't laugh at double-ended, then it will produce more light. So this may seem an obvious detail to include in a game, but I still think it's really cool. The final couple of details come from the third-party remake of Half-Life, Black Mesa. Having spent some time with the game, it's clear the love and time that went into this project, and that means we have some pretty funny discoveries to make. At the very start of the game, you can enter the break room. If you mess with the microwave, you can destroy someone's lunch. What follows is one of my favourite pieces of video game dialogue ever. Good heavens! What the hell? <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you best make like an atom and split. Cause, uh, that was, um... That was you-know-who's lunch. You better make like traffic and jam. You better make like a missile and cruise. You better make like diarrhea and run. You better make like a bread truck and haul buns. You better make like a baby and head out. You better make like a busboy and get the fork out of here. You better make like a nut and bolt. You better make like a prom dress and take off. Next up, it's time to help a man in need. If you head to the toilet, you can hear someone stuck in a situation I think we've all been in before, running out of toilet paper. Well, being the kind co-worker that you are, you can help the man out of his um, <clears throat> uh, sticky situation. Right. No toilet paper. Uh, hello? Hello? Could somebody get me some toilet paper? Excuse me. Minor emergency. Oh, thank heavens. I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. 
This final detail is perhaps the most visually pleasing of the whole video. As you progress through the game, you'll find yourself on the side of a cliff. Shortly after, you'll see this. So the explosion was visible pretty much straight away, but it took time for the sound wave to reach you on the cliff. It's a really cool touch. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, then a like is really appreciated. If you're a fan of Easter eggs, secrets and details in games, then perhaps consider subscribing as that's what this channel is all about. Don't forget to check out my socials if you want a behind the scenes look or just want to see what I get up to on a day to day basis. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.